Not gonna lie, I like the nicknames. We got Rude Boy versus Headhunter. I can dig that. There's just some big boys in there. Dre is in the blue. White is out of the red corner. Here we go. White is working the corner his opponent here. Dre's in the south pole. White's in a different little of a stance. Hands up, hands up. White is throwing head hunting shots, big shots. Just one of these have to land. <laughs> Action right in front of us right now. Yeah, some of the action, you know, I feel like I would have been okay so if they felt. Yeah, that was it. We're done. We're done. White with a jab, lead jab left. Definitely made contact. Dre is just slipping this jab. Now, if you can learn how to counter that with quickly, that's that's the uh, could be the game ending punch right there. Lavelle just gunning that right hand every time he throws it. Mouthpiece are already coming off a little bit for Dre. Both men breathing, uh, breathing heavy. Lavelle, oh, end of round one. Lavelle just keeps on throwing that right hand straight every single time. Um, uh, if he can learn to kind of just set something up with it, you know, a feint, learn how to feint better, maybe throw out a jab a little bit more, he'll land it, it's coming. Or maybe even throw an overhand, something a little bit coming out wider, because every single time he's just ducking and missing, just by the slightest little bit. Looks like both corners are feeling it here. <laughs> Must have get the same thing. Both men definitely breathing. Um, sometimes, you know this, and that's when we can see something really dramatic, when, when someone's tired, someone's not defending themselves the right way. Oh, white throwing a big overhand right. That it's adrenaline it. dump is no joke going into the second round on your debut. <laughs> Bill up, throwing big shots right now. So pushing the pace a little bit more. One, two, one, two. Oh. Looks like more of a push. Jay's coming back in that south paw in the blue corner. Lavelle just constantly stalking. <laughs> He's taunting him a little bit too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, body shot there by White.
Yeah, both men are just looking for that big, heavy shot. But, gee, you would think that if one of them would just throw the jab out just a little bit more, lead this dance, you'd probably sneak out this decision. It's a lot of a waiting game. It's also if you get hit with one of those big punches, it's not a, a fun thing either. So you got to kind of try to play it safe a little bit and try to figure out what strikes would be smartest to make. All right, round three, two in the books. Here's the highlights from round two. White throwing that big overhand right. Yeah, there's the push. Check, check. But you never know how the judges score that. It's, you know, he counted the referee, counted the round four or five. Just even out of the judges, I'd be like, I didn't see much, but that could have been it almost. Even just Le uh, Lavelle's forward pressure, I feel like, can be uh, enough in the judges' eyes. All right, round three. White in the red corner, Dre out of the blue. Lavelle's corner is urging him to be more active. In a corner, Jillian, with um, you know both guys having their debut fight. Sometimes it's like just simple, you know, just something easy like, hey, that's, we're going to work on our jab. We're just going to throw this jab or, hey, we're just going to throw your <laughs> Lavelle likes that overhand right. Let's just throw that overhand right. Sometimes when you give someone too much, brain can get scattered and almost go into like a default state that right now that we're seeing. I feel like at this point the advice is just go. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to go at this point. You got a minute left and you got to work. You got Somebody's got to do something. Right, so I'm trying to dissect the fight, you know, I'm, I'm throwing out analogies and then Jill's like, just go. Just, you know, just <laughs> The fans are urging them on. 30 seconds left of round three. Both men with a chance there at the end of round three. Didn't see much. Not a lot of action, but I feel like Lavelle did enough just to pull off the win. Joe and the Savage Robertson throwing away, uh, throwing answers right there for uh, verdicts. Uh, so much respect. Every single competitor, warrior that walks inside that. Uh, Sacred, sacred ring. Lavelle White. Excited for these last three coming up. <laughs> these are the ones I've been waiting for. You know, we, we saw the Josh Mayo show. We were lucky enough to see that. We saw a, a incredible, vicious knockout. Um, to me, one of the kind of the sleeper fights. I really liked that kickboxing fight. I really liked um, seeing Chase Hayden really transition right in front of her eyes. Really felt like he'd grown into a 
you know, mixed martial artist just right in front of us. No, I feel like that was fight of the night right there. Yeah, I'm with you there. All right, here's Christopher James with the results. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for both these men sparring in here tonight? There's no winner, there's no loser. Great work, gentlemen. Thank you so much, guys.